Hi there, and welcome to Hectic Eclectic. Today we're going to talk about rereading books. What's the point in rereading a book? Who out there rereads books? Really, I'm curious because I hear about this all the time. Look at all of these brand new books I can read. Hmm, nah, I'll just go reread Book X again for the 12th time. Whoa, look at how worn out this book is. Someone must have read it a hundred times. Must be a really good book. Honestly though, that makes me cringe so bad. I don't care how many times you've read the book. What are you doing to cause it to be so worn out? Being a <coughs> semi-active member of the blogosphere, I actually run into readers making these comments more often than I can count, and most often in those cases, it's made in distress. The readers often lamenting about how they have all these brand new books they've never read, but they have nothing to read, and therefore they end up reverting to a favorite that they've already read like a dozen times. On the other hand, there are those readers who buy used books based solely on the wear and tear of the book, because that's supposedly some indicator of whether or not it's a good book. Apparently, the more wear and tear a book has, the more often the previous owner read it and reread it. Though, honestly, that could just mean that the previous owner had abhorrent book carrying qualities. In fact, rereading is apparently such a common practice that the book site Goodreads actually just recently altered their system to allow readers to log multiple reads of a book. It's so important to some readers that they can actually go in and select specific dates for each individual time they read a book. Not that I would know. I just happen to know this because of a fluke in my Goodreads app. I don't reread books, guys. <laughs> if you haven't figured it out by the dozen hints I've dropped in this video, I do not reread books. I've never done it. I honestly can't imagine doing it because what's the point? You've read the book, you know the story, you know the good and the bad parts, so why would you spend the time reading the book again? I suppose one argument for rereading a book is that it's like rewatching a movie. You notice something different each time you read or watch it, or perhaps you just enjoy it so much that you want to enjoy it again and again. However, a movie only takes a few hours. For someone like myself, the slowest reader on the planet, though I'm still trying to trademark that one. Anyway, even a 300 page book takes me a couple of days to read. That being said, rereading a book would be a couple days wasted that I could use to tackle my enormous TBR that plagues me from the dark shadows it lurks in, aka my not big enough bookshelf. Speaking of TBR, why would you want to read a book you've already read when you still have a hundred, two hundred, five hundred books you haven't read yet? That TBR is going to get longer no matter how fast you read, but you can at least attempt to tackle it by not rereading. Why would you subject yourself to the torture of your TBR never decreasing by allowing yourself to reread a book you've already read? Why are you feeding the monster that is slowly eating every corner of your room? What's the catch? Seriously, what's the incentive? Because I'm obviously missing what is so amazing about rereading books. To me, it seems like a waste of time, energy, and imagination. But. I don't know, maybe I'm just lacking the patience or passion for the books I'm reading. So what do you think? Do you reread books? Let me know in the comments below, and if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next week with another video on Hectic Eclectic. Bye! I actually run into readers making these comments more often than I, I can count. English! <laughs> That being said, rereading a book would be rereading a book. Goodreads actually altered their system recently to allow the. Honestly, this makes me cringe so bad, though. I mean, 